In the new episode of Sports Nation, we will visit Kazakhstan's first indoor football arena that meets UEFA standards. We will talk to Nurbol Rumaskaliev, a legend of Kazakhstan football, and organize a little challenge. At the end of the episode, we will talk about women's boxing in Kazakhstan and dispel some myth. We are in the city of Kostanay, a city where they love football and support the local football club Tabol. In 2018, they built an indoor football arena, which meets all modern standards and allows to hold matches all year round. That is, you can play football here in any weather, which is very relevant for the northern region. You can see an inflatable roof there. This is the peculiarity of technology. The facility costs 4.2 billion tenge. We are inside this arena and you can notice at first sight that they respect the traditions here. Look, this is the main hallway. On the wall, we see the legendary players of the club. There are a lot of legendary players and they are honored and loved here. The history of the club begins in the middle of the last century. In different years, the team was called Torpedo, Automobilist, Energetic, Kustanaitz. The club has achieved the biggest success in the 21st century. In 2007, Tabol won the Intertoto Cup and three years later, it won the gold medal of the championship for the first time. The total area of the facility is more than 16,000 square meters. There are stands for fans, VIP boxes, commentator booth, administrative premises and the locker rooms. There is everything you need, but the most important thing is the football field. There is artificial grass of the last generation, which has no analogs in Kazakhstan. They water it, the grass is still wet, and they even scratch it. They explain to me that they scratch it because the grass, which is 6 cm long, must be elevated. As far as I understand, there is only one arena like this in Kazakhstan. No, there are no analogs. Our arena is open all year round. The kids are training all year round. The temperature is plus 18, plus 20. It is the perfect temperature for football players. In winter, the arena is heated with gas. There is a boiler room. The heating system is air exhausted. Tabol will play in European competitions. Will there be access to this arena? Of course, there won't be any problems. We pass the certification, there is everything. Indoor football arena stands can sit 3,000 people. As you can see, they are also of classic yellow-green colors, the colors of Costa nightclub Tabol. Before the pandemic, there were no restrictions, people could sit anywhere. Now people should keep social distancing. Sim signs indicate where you can and cannot sit. Is it true that the roof is inflatable? Yes, we have an interesting roof. It's inflatable. There are two layers of the membrane inside. There is air in the middle, so it inflates like a balloon. It also transmits light well. If we turn off the lights in the arena now, there will be light everywhere. We are in the administrative area of the building and we'd like to start our review with the referee's room. Here it is, the referee's room. Let's take a look at what the referees use before a match. They have standard lockers, a water cooler and a printer. Everything is pretty standard. But the interesting thing is that a few meters away we have a similar room but for the female referees. This is the reality of modern football. 
we are in the locker room of the football club Tabol. The most interesting thing is that it's a locker room of the home team, but the guest locker room is no different. There are the same chairs, they are quite comfortable, leather, of green and yellow colors. For example, Zoran Tosic, a former Manchester United and CSKA player, changes clothes and gets ready for the match here. The international player from Serbia, Zoran Tosic, is arguably the biggest star on the team. The player joined Tabol in the course of this season. The club believes that the brilliant game of the team in the championship helps to develop mass sports. In fact, in recent years, they emphasize youth football. Kostanai is a footballing city. Here, the fans, children, everyone is interested in Tabol. The first thing for us is to make it a mass sport. Fields are being built in the region. All fields that were built, including Tabol Arena, are also used by children. An inspector has just come for the first time. I showed him everything. He was surprised. He wished that every regional center had such an arena. We are here on game day. Tabol plays with Turan. It is a small football holiday in Kostanai. Although such facilities are very popular, they don't build a lot of them. One of the main reasons is that we need big investments, which can pay off more than one year. In Kostanai, they took a risk and now play football without fear of storms, rain and frosts. Next in the episode, there is a big interview with the legend of Kazakhstan football, Nurbul Jumaskaliyev. Just a few days ago, one of the best players in the history of Kazakhstan, Nurbul Jumaskaliyev, turned 40 years old. He finished his career as a football player in 2018 and has been a sports manager ever since. As a football player, Nurbul set several records. Firstly, he played the most matches in the championship. Secondly, he scored the most goals. In Kostanai club Tabol, Jumas Kaliev has played almost all his career, having become a legend of the club. But Nurbol was born in Uralsk. Since he was 11, he has studied at the boarding school of football club Namis Almaty, which at the time selected the best young players from all over Kazakhstan. When you were a football player, everyone knew how effective and tough you were. Now you are the sports director of the club. What are your duties? Organization of the training process, work with the team, the main team, the youth team, plus the football center. There are no problems with communication and adaptation. We get along with the guys fast, very well. You have a coaching license. Theoretically, you can lead the team. I know that you even had an offer to lead one of the teams in Kazakhstan. Are you interested in that job now? Coaching, of course, is interesting. But it is very difficult. You need to be responsible. Before leading a team, you must gain knowledge, education, and then you can make conclusions. Now I'm studying at the pro course. We'll see. If it works out in the future, then I'll certainly try. Who are your groupmates, so to speak? Former famous players quite often train there. My groupmates are Kairat Nordavletov, Ali Aliyev, Igor Salashenko, Konstantin Garavenko. At the moment, do you borrow anything for yourself from the work of Grigory Babayan, who is leading Tabol? Of course, you take something for yourself from every coach. You watch the training process.
How much has football changed in terms of tactics, a comprehensive approach, in terms of medicine? A lot has changed. A lot of things are paid attention to. We didn't have such opportunities before. There was no psychologist, no medical staff on the team. Some people didn't take the tests. Everything was different for us. Plus, as for the game itself, football has accelerated. It has become faster for some seconds, a fraction of a second. Is there a coach who inspires you to work in this field, whose style appeals to you? I was lucky to work with Ogai, Mukhanov, Minasyan, Arno Pipers, Holger Fach. I've taken a lot of positive things from them. We're going to have a little challenge. I think many people remember Nurbozh Maskaliev's goal to Swiss Basel. Today we have an easier task, today we're trying to hit the crossbar. From this point we shoot from the penalty line. We have five attempts. Let me go first. I've had three attempts, one score, two balls were very close to the crossbar. Nurbol Jumaskaliev's turn. This man is recognized as the master of standards in Kazakhstan. It's a draw. After five attempts, Nurbol and I each have five scores. So we will have more attempts. Do you regret that you could not play abroad? I should have tried. Now we can think and do some analysis. But you received offers. Of course, I received. Tell me about the most interesting offers that you received. It was just an option. I tried out for Spartak Moscow and Rubin Kazan. The other teams just called me and asked whether I wanted to go to play in other countries. Didn't Spartak want you to join them or didn't you like the conditions? I didn't refuse. Who would refuse to play for Spartak? It just did not work out. It seems that I didn't fit their criteria. It was hard to get there as a young player. I was 19 years old and they chose local guys. Which team surprised you this season after the first rounds? Taras makes a very pleasant depression. They show good football. I watched some moments of one match. Do you have an idea? Which team will fight for the victory in the championship this season? Astana and Kairat, of course. Today you have three children. Do you manage to find time for them, to be a dad? When I was a football player, I didn't have enough time at all. There were constant trips. Now that I finished my career, I have more time to spend with the kids. You're not on social networks. Is it of no interest to you at all? In general, sometimes I check sports news there, but I don't have time or desire to spend more time there. You were born in Uralsk. Is Kostanai seems more appealing to you now? 
I wouldn't say that it is more appealing. For me, these two cities are of equal value. I was born in Uransk, my parents lived there. There I got married, created a family. Let me remind you that we have a score of 1-1 after 5 attempts. Now our task is to hit in turns. Whoever hits first, let's shoot penalty. Nurbol, go first. It's a playoff. I must make it after this. No, Nurbol, you win. Thank you for the challenge. Next up, Nurbol and I will make the dream team. Let's call it the 11 friends of Jumaskaliyev. We choose from those who played with Nurbol Jumaskaliyev in the same team. There are many players, all are quite famous. Who would be the goalkeeper? Alexander Pitukhov. What about the defensive line from the left to the right? Stanimir Dimitrov should be probably here. Who would be on the left? Farhad Bek Irismetov would be on the left, then the second central defender Samat Smakov. Daniel Mukanov should be on the right. The line of midfielders Andrei Karpovic, Kairat Nordauletov should be the second supporting midfielder. We're going to have such a defensive team. Yes, Igor Yurin and Azat Nurgaliev would be side midfielders. Ruslan Baltiev should be the attacking midfielder. Ulugbek Bagaev would be the forward. Who would you choose as a head coach? Dmitry Alexeyevich Ogay. Some guys are very talented, but for different reasons, they could not fulfill themselves. Who would you name among those who were mega talented but failed? Bauran Jolchiev hasn't fulfilled himself completely as a football player. Rambul Kukiev as well. They are talented guys, they could have reached a higher level. What was the problem? What do you think? I don't want to talk about problems. I don't want to judge. It was their choice. Something didn't work out. Who is the most talented player in Kazakhstan at the moment? Right now, the best one is Zainuddinov. I think that he will recover from injury and reach a new level. He has a chance to develop. What would you advise to young players, beginners? First and foremost is to work on yourself, do not stop, try to achieve your goals. Thank you, Nurbol, for the interview. Good luck. Next in the episode, we will tell you what women's boxing is and why more and more girls are joining it. Boxing is a versatile, functional and strength sport, which is incredibly popular in Kazakhstan. Men and women enjoy it. Boxing is an art. It develops a person in all directions. In boxing, you need the chess player's brains, weightlifter's strengths, wrestler's explosive power. All together is boxing. Fitness boxing is becoming popular among the ones who lead a healthy lifestyle. You don't need to get in the ring, just do all the exercises of boxing training. In general, people get engaged in fitness boxing for two reasons. They want to reduce weight and strengthen muscle tone. I've never been into martial arts. I was more into dancing. I was involved in everything that girls do. But I don't know why I chose boxing. I just liked the training and I was lucky to have a good instructor. The person feels great after these workouts. There are elements of boxing. The person starts to think about boxing differently. This is a more serious level. 
Last year, Vladislava Kuchta from Kostanai won the national championship for the first time in her career. Before boxing, she was involved in tourism, basketball, and mixed martial arts. I support any kind of activity. It's great when a person strives for something. Who knows, maybe you will find yourself in boxing. If not, it's an activity to develop self-defense, coordination. It's a very good decision. Women's boxing was at the Olympics in 2012. At that time, Marina Valnova, the resident of Kazalinsk, won Kazakhstan's first Olympic bronze. Four years later, Dariga Shakimova repeated her success. Both times it was Clarissa Schultz from the United States who kept our girls out of the finals. Modern boxing is not necessarily about sparring or taking part in competitions. Exercises for everyone, including girls, are chosen individually depending on age and goals. Such exercises help to relieve stress, increase endurance and gain confidence in your strengths. The warm-up is the most important part of the start. We must stretch well. We must prepare all the muscles to work. We should warm up the legs first, running, rope jumping. The jump rope is the main stuff of a boxer. Then we should warm up the shoulder girdle by different swings. And then we're ready to work. And the main part begins. Women's boxing is extremely popular in Mexico and it is linked not with the desire of Mexican women to be in a perfect shape, but with a very ordinary fact. Mexico is a leader in the number of attacks on women, which means they have a reasonable desire to learn how to fight back. The very first thing is to decide on a stance. Let's say I'm left-handed. I should get into a right-handed stance. I should put my right shoulder forward. If you're right-handed, you should put your left shoulder forward. The left hand will be dominant. It will be for scouting. Draw a line in your mind. Let's put our feet at a 45-degree angle. We have to be constantly moving, not standing still. We also defend using legs. On average, boxing helps you burn from 400 to 700 calories per hour. Of course, it all depends on the intensity and type of the activity, but in any case, the combination of cardio and strength training will lead to weight loss and a noticeable shape improvement. Women are more emotional than men. Men are more balanced, more technical. Sometimes women shut off their brains. We train just like men. In some cases, we are even more endurant. We want to achieve more. When men do box, it looks noble and very impressive. Women's psychology and men's psychology are a little bit different. That's where you have to adjust. Sometimes emotions prevail. We end our episode with the video of the week. Boris Milosic from Croatia started freediving when he was 7 years old. The day before, he proved that he has no equal in this sport. Baris dived to the bottom of the pool and walked 96 meters. The walk, which lasted three and a half minutes, has entered into the Guinness Book of Records.